This is part five of A Link Between Worlds, and in this part we're going to be uh, conquering the first dungeon of the game, the Eastern Palace. Which is very similar, obviously the same name, and also the design is actually a lot similar, I think, it to is. Links to the Past. Especially these first couple of rooms, it's like, right off the bat, you have like you can go right uh -huh. left the middle, you get the room with the uh, the cannonballs coming yes, in, or the yeah. bubbles as we called them many, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. it seems like I, years I remember ago. that, like, it makes no sense why I call those things bubbles now, because like, how would they even be rolling across the yeah. ground, so. And that's something that, uh, when when I was prepping for this, I thought it was a little nostalgic. The very first recording commentary we did yes, uh -huh. uh, as two guys playing Zelda was the Link to the Past Easter Palace. Past. And hopefully this one is a lot better than oh, the first God, one yes. we did, because man, that Don't first go one, <laughs> we're not going to put a link to that video. Video in this video, <laughs> absolutely not. But I, but I, but it's so it's a little there's bit the nostalgic. There's here. the bubbles right there again. The bubbles. Yeah. Now see, like in Link to the Past, they actually look somewhat like they could have been bubbles. Yeah. Right there, they look like cannonballs. I agree. I agree. So that's where I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> but this dungeon does kind of suffer from the same thing that the first dungeon of so many yeah, Zelda uh -huh. games suffers from. It's bland. Yeah, it's just boring, bland. There's really not much going on. Kind of just like an introduction to the it game, is. but. You know, at the same time, I mean, this is an easier game, but... In general, just, yeah. I mean, I understand, like, you know, you're trying to just, like, you know, ease people into the game, but still, I thought this could have been just a little bit harder. I'm not sure what you're trying to ease your way yeah, into. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened right there is you can see there's another room, and there's there fairies in that room, which I really didn't need. No, no. But, like, when that lever thing or that platform goes down, the door opens. Well, yeah. I thought the door was actually on the wall. You actually have to ride that platform down and then go into a, like, walkway that, like, we got right there yeah yeah go under that walkway so so you'll see there's one room we don't go into yeah. in this one and the bad thing was i read how to do it right before i played <laughs> through that du this dungeon and i still got it wrong oh but at least we didn't need but, those fairies yeah it's just point. fairies so yeah first Actually, messed up of the game yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the last one no, definitely Hopefully. the last i'll probably run out get nailed by something <laughs> <laughs> a little later in the game we'll have to do something very similar to that to get a slightly more important item and we'll make sure we get it right when we get there what are we talking about <laughs> the ore to, uh, oh, to sort of, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Without spoiling too much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, it's a very important upgrade, though, right there. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's also kind of got, it's not the exact same color, but the color resembles kind of similar to uh, Link to the Past Dungeon, it really. really it, it was, it was. It's just kind of that dreary, but there's just uh -huh. really nothing that makes it jump out. No, it, like you said, first Dungeon Syndrome yeah, is what it runs into. Yeah. And like, Especially I mean, these mini Maybe bosses. just like a oh. different color, maybe some water in it, I guess. Just something to lighten yeah, it up. Yeah, man, like I said, these are some tough... <laughs> I, actually, I don't know if you said that or not, but these, I did, are, yes. some, oh, these are some tough oh. mini bosses <laughs> in this dungeon. They're, they're just a joke. I mean, the one we had was like four of the uh, the popos, the typical uh -huh, things. Yeah, uh -huh. And that one was just four of the Armo statues. Now, so. I love this room right here with oh, the staircase yeah. and the rolling balls. I thought just a lot of stuff came like together really well right here in this room. Yeah, it's like there's actually complex things going uh -huh. on for once. It's, it's like, far yeah. the hardest room in the dungeon. It just say much. much. Well, yeah, it's not saying much at all, but... <laughs> no. And there's the monster guts. I think... Was that our first one that we got? Uh, we may have picked one up in the overworld I wasn't looking at the number when it came up, but there was like... There's some things like that you can get in this game that are just like potions. You can usually yeah. get potions later on in the game, so... I don't you think collect them do. if you want to, but we don't use potions. <laughs> no, we don't because we don't die or lose hard. So <laughs> I don't think I ever actually put those guts or anything to use. Or uh -huh. there's monster horns, there's monster guts, and there's well, other, I think, there's but. a blue potion you get, but I think it's later in the game because I think what you need to get that is not maybe until low roll. Oh, so that's okay. really the only valuable potion is the blue one in this game. Yeah. I pretty much just ignored it and yeah. hoarded all those uh, monster parts. Yeah. I now I know how this little contraption up here works. This thing's shooting arrows. Because they seem to be unlimited. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> Why aren't they using rupees or something? I know. Right? Like in the original Zelda. I mean, what the heck? Where's their stamina bar? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. No stamina bar. They don't use rupees. Like, how, yeah. How We've is that? At the shaft. Where is that unlimited supply coming from? Yeah. I kind of liked this room. One thing I liked I love this room. about it is like these orbs you'll see we have to shoot are all kind of at different heights. Uh huh. And we have to get into that room from several different angles and entrances to get all of those. Yeah. I thought it was a neat touch. Now, good technique in that last room. You kind of saw me miss that diagonal shot a couple times. I didn't try this, obviously. Yeah. But I kept on forgetting that like you can actually move while you're shooting. Yeah. And that might have made that part right there a little bit easier. I think so. I think so. Plus, I nailed that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Not that it was hard, but no. you know. Plus, it looked like you were rushing a little bit in that last room, too, to hit that one, so. You know what? I was bashing the color a little bit later on. I actually like the color. <laughs> I actually like the color of this place, like the green-blue. I think it does go together very well. 
I mean, it's better than just like the bland blue. I think the original. Yeah, blue well, was. they could obviously do a lot more with this game though too. Very like true. the SNES one, you only had a color yeah. to work with, so you couldn't do too much with it. Now, is this the same music as the uh, uh, Hyrule uh, Dungeons in Link to the Past? Ooh, I, that it, it, it's similar, but it's uh -huh. got a little different twist to okay. it. Okay, little remix. Well, there's a lot of things in this game that are very identical, Link to of the course, Past, yeah. music wise, but they just have a little bit of twist to them. Yeah. One thing, though, that's different between this Link to the Past and, honestly, between this and just about every other Zelda game, this is the first Zelda game that I know of, except maybe, like, Zelda 2 or whatever, but there's no dungeon map you get uh -huh, in uh -huh. the dungeon. I feel like, um... Wind Waker, original, Wind Waker so HD. I feel like Wind Waker... I don't know if Wind Waker HD had a map or not, because... Which might be actually be different from the standard definition version because of the game Maybe. Pad. But I don't remember getting a map in Wind Waker. Now, we might have... Actually, you know what? I think I just remember getting a map in the Wind <laughs> Temple now, so I'll just scratch all yeah. that. The second screen is perfect for, for uh -huh. the map, of course, on the 3DS, or on the, on the Wii U game, yeah, that, of uh -huh. course. But I just... I, Part of me makes it seems like they're simplifying it even more than they already are. When yeah, I mean, that. like one of the things, like you know, we've come accustomed to getting the map. Yeah. In dungeons, you know, and like it kind of makes that beginning part a little more difficult and stuff. It does. So, I mean, I actually liked it. I thought it was a good use of the second screen because yeah, what else are you going to have there? But I understand that some people might not have liked how you just pretty much were given the map right off the bat and really. I mean, it's a little too much hand holding. It, it does. It does make it easier. Yeah. Now, one thing I like that cinematic. Well, it's been hand holding up to here the whole way. True. <laughs> it's, it's the first dungeon. Yeah. Games that hold your hand yeah. so far. I like that cinematic though, where with the uh, where the entrance way to the boss room. Yes, I turns. agree. I do just agree. Nice little touch to liven it up a little. Bit. I just kind of like the. It's not like a central hub, but like it's like a big like room before the boss room. Yeah. And there's actually a lot of dungeons that have that. They'll have like yeah. a main room right before the boss entrance, which I just. Like, in, like you know, just like a central hub, like right before you go into the boss. Yep. And our first boss, as you can see right here, is uh, Yuga, uh -huh. who's been our uh, main antagonist yes, so yeah, far. I got the, yeah, I got that wrong last time. <laughs> <laughs> we cut that. We cut that out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you mean the protagonist? <laughs> yeah, that, that one. That one. I love right there. When he says, "I will oblige." Yeah. Like you know, I try to get rid of you first. You, I think he calls us like what a worm or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. And then like I just now right here though, kind of golf, well, not golf sub because we're actually doing it right yeah. now, <laughs> but like. This is a very tiny room right here. It is. You have no space in here to maneuver hardly. To switch up subjects. That's what yeah. I was saying. I kind of just quit like mid-thought or whatever. But yeah. I mean, like I can't think of a boss room that has been smaller than this. No, not at all. Especially when the entire like middle part is just a, a hole. Yeah, big hole. Which, what, what, um, I don't what, think what, he, what was he using that for? Was he even using that for anything? Uh, he was just dangling. Uh, the guy, oh, he's dangling the guy over the uh, depth. Whose name whatever. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Ospala. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's Sriracha Sauce's apprentice. Right? Russia, Russia. <laughs> Sriracha Sauce. Sriracha <laughs> Sauce. Yeah. But man, you go blast the crap out of oh. this. I know it was the first boss, but a rather easy boss, too, right there. It was. Even though it was a tiny room, and obviously Yuga has been like. You know, yeah. introduced as, as our main person. Not to interrupt you, but I love yeah. the music right here. Like, when you become oh. a painting right here, well, actually, yeah. I did interrupt you. It's just, but, it's right. <laughs> but, like, that music right there when you first become kind of a painting, and just, like, the epic feeling, I absolutely yeah. love that part. It sounds so like, oh, you died. It sounds so yeah, like, exactly. you've uh -huh. lost, you know. It was uh -huh. very good music. And I love what Yuga says. He's like, what a drab, boring painting. Yeah, uh -huh. I like how he talks about his paintings and, like, you know, he's like, if I can get Princess Zelda, she's mm -hmm. going to be the most beautiful piece of art ever. I like how he kind of talks about how important his paintings are and, like, how, you know, how ugly or beautiful they can yep. become. And that's even at the very beginning when he captured, uh, and I forgot her name earlier, too, the, uh, the, uh, Ceres. Ceres. Hey, thank you. I got, I got you, Red. I got you, Red. I, uh, yeah, even then, he's all like, you know, there's so little beauty in this world, I'm going to capture what little there is. Yeah, uh-huh. And I thought it was really well done. I agree. Now, I wasn't big on Fine Yuga in the first dungeon. Like, a couple Me of either. games have done that. I just, I'm just i not a huge fan of it, but I understand it. And I, in my opinion, I think it sets up the rest of the game very well. Obviously, with getting the bracelet and being able to merge in and out of walls. Yeah, and it's funny, though, because it's like this bracelet was just some throw-off throw, throw -off gift from, from Rabio. Mm -hmm. And he, even it's, he made it. It smelled. It even just he smelled. Made, yeah, 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 it smelled. Yeah, yeah. It, it smells history or whatever he said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it smells like a wet dog. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, what does that bracelet have to do with being able to merge out of walls? I have no now, idea. It's not the first Zelda logic not to make sense. Yeah. But I just found myself like, uh, how does a bracelet do that? And I don't think they ever really explain it either. They're, like, you would think you get some history on it. Yeah. Or something like that. But you're right. You Like, we don't get anything on that. I feel like just about everything else we get, they give us some, like, at uh -huh. least it might not be the best reasoning, yeah. but they give us some reason why... 
you have it or why it works. Yeah. But this is just like, yeah, oh my gosh, the the, the bracelet merged with mm. Yuga's magic or whatever, and now we can do this. Yeah. Now how about this view outside though here? Oh, we I get love this a it. couple times in this game. Like I just love like the whole like how it made things seem higher than they actually felt like yeah. they were. Like walking up to Eastern Palace, you wouldn't think it was this height at all. No, but now we just get this spectacular view, and this is one of my favorite things of the game. Just taking some of these views and just mm -hmm. being able to see like so far down, kind of like when we're on Death Mountain. And that's when that 3D really pops too. Oh, and yes, you can't tell yes. obviously watching it here on YouTube. But, uh -huh. You know, but well, they're actually... like a 3D TV or something, yeah. anyways. You know, so <laughs> but once you've got like you've got on your 3DS, you're like. This is the first game that we both had for the 3DS. Yes, uh huh. And we were both like, okay. We got the Link Between Worlds edition. Yeah. Actually, so. And we're like, this 3D is just such a gimmick, whatever. We'll probably turn it off. And like, you see this, the way they use yeah. this height and depth uh -huh. of these dungeons. And you're like, never mind, this 3D is awesome. There's, like, there's a lot of people that aren't fans of the 3D depth, but like, I absolutely yeah. love it. I think it just adds to the game. Now, we didn't have the motion track in 3DS, which might help with the new 3DS. On, on the brand new one, yeah. like. Like you said, like these areas right here is where like, it the pops. 3D, like it just may look so far down, and I absolutely loved it. Plus, we're fans of any time that you're like kind of high up using technology outside. to its fullest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kind of that I was gonna say, like just being outside the dungeons and looking, having a view. Like yeah, that. we've talked agreed, about that in agreed. so many Zelda games, and this is the first time we got to see like a depth of going down and everything. Yep, and this will go ahead and wrap up uh, part five of Link Between Worlds.